All right. Hey, you guys. Good to be here with you today. Today, I just have a quick thought for you on how to apply the 80-20 rule to your mom life. So the 80-20 rule, sometimes called Pareto's principle, the whole idea here is that you get 80% of your results from about 20% of the things that you do. Um, sometimes this is even higher. It can be 5%, 5 and 90, 95% and 5%, right? It can be that 95% of your results are coming from 5% of your efforts. Um, really, what that means, and if you think about it, I hope that this is going to give you a lot of hope in motherhood because as moms, we feel like we have a hundred things to do and there are a hundred things on our list, but some things matter a lot more than others. And when we think we have to do all the things, we have to get a hundred things done just because they're on our to-do list, it can be really overwhelming and it can feel like too much for any one person to manage. And I think that's why a lot of moms go to bed at night just feeling like, it was too much. There's too much to do and I can't do it all and I can't keep up. Well, I want to let you know that you don't have to do all those things just because they're in your world, just because they're on your to-do list, even if you were the one that wrote that to-do list. Um, what you can do instead is really focus on the 20%, that top little bit of things that actually is making the biggest difference. So how can you know what actually matters. The way that I like to look at this is by taking a step back and really looking at the big picture. What matters in your life? What are the things that matter? Um, your family, your health, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your friends, your relationship with God. Those things are what really matters. And it's really interesting because I think a lot of times those are the things that are easy to push aside. Those are the things that we can say, eh, I don't really quite have time to go for a walk today. The reason why, um, or I don't have time to read my scriptures, or I don't have time to um, sit here with a child and play. And I think the reason these are easy to push aside and the reason why we kind of let these things go um, more easily is because they are little things that kind of add up to big things, but at the time, they're not big things. However, those little things are often what are in the 20%. And so the way that I like to structure this is by having a big three every day. What are the big three things today that matter? What are the big three things today that are going to help me become the person that I want to be? What are the habits that I want daily and regularly that are going to get me to those results? Well, first I have to know what those results are. And then I have to say those results, that future self, the person that I want to be, those are the things that are my 20%. Those are the things that I'm going to prioritize. Then when I make a list, it's not a list of 20 things that I need to get done that day. It's a list of the top three things that actually matter. Those are my 20%. And when I'm able to prioritize those, that's amazing because if other things fall off, if they don't get done, if I don't accomplish all of them, it's okay because those weren't the most important things anyway. But I know that and I can have peace of mind and I can sleep well at night because I did prioritize the things that really mattered. Um, figuring out what really matters and being able to live this consistently day after day is a process. And this is a process that I help women with through my program, Mom Life Made Simple. I am really excited because our next group starts next week and I have spots available. If this is something that you want to learn how to do, if you want to get really good at this and really hone in on being consistent with the things that matter, creating habits in your life to help you prioritize and live the life that you want to live so that you can make progress on your goals, so that you can prioritize your family, so that you can prioritize your health and your relationship with God and your relationship with your spouse, then this is the program for you. Get on the phone with me. I have calls available this week for our next week group. It's a three-month group coaching program that will really help to change your relationship with the way that you structure your day and with yourself and with um, really knowing how to put things in their proper perspective. So I want to help you to do that. You can get the information from the link in my bio or on this post or go to bit.ly forward slash coaching with Chanel. And I am super excited. If this is speaking to you, then I hope that we can get on the phone 
and that you will join my next group and I will talk to you later. Bye.